hello guys so in this video we will be making this project this mass so we did it before and we started with the wall so let us start today with this floor actually um, to take them as a reference so at the beginning I need to to make sure that I do have uh, three levels so let us go to 3d or to 3d let us go to revit directly go to one of these elevations another uh, double L for the floors create another floor um, UN for the unit and now approximately let me just see the the dimensions or the, see the heights I can see that the height of this one is not 4 and if I made this one 4 this one will be two, 250 so let me just make this one 250 something like this approximately and this one maybe 350 something like this so in this mass we do have from level 2 to level 3 so I will go to my level 2 FL for floor let me see approximately the dimension I will be making it maybe 400 1400 by 1400 something like this you could add even change it you could do it's just the important for me is the idea you know so um, copy best align to selected level into level uh, 3 into level 3 so um, yeah something like this yes so go to level 2 now in order to make your walls uh, click WA for shortcut store front make sure this wall has no vertical and uh, no horizontal since we don't have uh, we don't have a horizontal thing in here and horizontal panels so go to edit type you could duplicate it you could not if you want no horizontal none apply yes and then go to rectangle make sure from level 2 to level 3 and then just give it an offset of because look if we just start to make it something like this we can see that it's something wrong with this uh, panels you know it's going outside so that's why I will just give it an offset maybe 15 you know approximately click space now it's fine click on this corner and then let me see this one yes and it's fine now I think yeah um, select all of these walls what I did hover over one of them tab yes attach to base click on this floor delete element we will do something new which is uh, just in order to fix this intersections so click on this one click and click on the second one if some of you are not able to select it so the thing is will be will be this one which is just look now I'm not able even if I click tab I'm not able to select it but uh, to select it why because it's bend so in this um, select bend element is is unchecked so if I check it now I will be able to select the bend element so select both click on this one UB is the shortcut for unbend and then select one of them again go to properties click on Elmolion delete element now we do have an L shape which is a good corner uh, which is actually that's that's how it it, it, uh, it should look like in in, uh, in real life so you could do the others if you want go to your floor edit edit go to your material edit or uh, create a new material yes right click rename 101 apply okay or even before applying just the graphic make it white apply something like this so now we do have um, to uh, to do the stairs so go to level 1 uh, from underlay you should go to level 2 because now we are able to see it go to your stairs select one of these make sure that um, let us draw something like this then 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 maybe you could just uh, move this one a bit inside I'm just using the arrows make this one maybe 240 something like this 
select all look what i did hover over one tab now select mv for move from here to here and now yes let me just see if if yes or no it's going from here going from this side which is which should be flipped and then say yes select both railings glass panels and then go to your floor double click on it and draw a normal rectangle around it in order to open it something like this and then if you would we can see that in this picture we do have only one one piece of this stairs so you could make it as a new one if you want so go to stairs again and then from level 2 to level 3 and then let me just see how it's gonna look like it's so big one I don't know there is something wrong even with this dimension I think because even it's going like there is something in here you see or even with with maybe the the height of the floors but even though you could you you are able to make it now maybe move it somewhere here you know it's going outside it should be something like this if I'm just working in this project now to be able to see it in here which is I think it's something wrong because it should start with from this point so I could even in order to, to make something like this I could even change this uh, sorry not this one construction I think I could change the, the height of this stairs is from here before making it even I could even change the, the riser and and uh, the riser height so we won't make it now but it's fine you could you are able or you know how to make it now um, something else which is uh, the walls okay like this nope or yes so the the walls at the beginning we do have a wall in here and then the other one let me just make this one which is uh, would be la would be the in somehow the structure of the stairs so go to level one draw a wall uh, maybe generic one let me see maybe this one I think it's at the middle of it yes it is create something like this just for now uh, double click on it in order to edit type and then go to one of your elevations bring it up remove constraint something like this and then another rectangle something like this I think align AL this one with this one let me see yes it's even going up a bit just by the arrow and this is even a bit out yeah approximately and this drag it out bring both remove I think so say yes go to 3d I think this is the first wall and now the second one which is gonna be opposite of this so wa something like this edit profile go to your elevation we can see that it's a close so it's gonna be something like this so uh, let me just make it clear from here so it's something like this and then just make it here into here and then we do have something like this and then we do have which is going up 
so it's gonna be something like that remove constraint bring another line something like this tr and then tr and then sl for split line and then tr and then tr from this let me see it's going a bit out yes come on outside a bit I think yes in some way. just to bring this a bit inside something like that yeah bring it down and say yes so okay we need to bring it a bit down say yes so this is the first the first exercise okay in somehow you could use of course the GD smooth line and then use some shadows and some uh, extensions use some lightings say yes and say okay so this is the first one you could even make the opening at the roof but this is the uh, idea